Hello and welcome to the Listening Post's unboxing channel on YouTube. Today I'm unboxing Yamaha's brand new MusicCast wireless subwoofer. Colloquially it's called the uh, Sub 100. It's an NS in, in SW100. It's got a very complicated name. It's a network subwoofer. It's a MusiCast subwoofer. It can be added to the small MusiCast speakers. It can be added as a wireless sub to any of the MusiCast home theater amplifiers or soundbars. It's a lovely little addition to many of their mini systems and it sounds, for the money, delightful. So, let's have a look. Now, the packaging. This is a relatively large subwoofer and the pictorial show, off, show it off really, really well. Um, on one end only, there's a bit of information about the serial numbers, country of manufacture, and some ticketing as far as how to get it to us, and that's pretty much it from a packaging perspective. Um, now, because of its size, I'm actually going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to open it from the bottom and get this box off so that we can see its packaging and uh, everything else inside. So, opening it's going to be very, very straight. Zip it up, slide this beautiful colourful box off, which just keeps some of the polystyrene and other things like that. We can, get, we can jump into the product. Now on the top, of course, are some of the accessories. So let's just grab, grab those out before discarding the box. Okay, grab those. So, um, within the top, is some basic information about uh, our packaging process and a basic manual and warranty card. So really don't fuss too much about it. Drill into the product and you're going to have a lot more fun. Right, taking it out, again a couple more pieces of polystyrene, get rid of those, and uh, Yamaha's classic sort of bubble paper to protect the product. Taking this bubble paper off is really, really straightforward. Pretty much just follow around the tight parts, nick the cello tape, um, and it will fall away really, really easily, okay. revealing the product inside. It's a gloss finish, so as I lift that up, and get rid of this, we get to have a look. Now, here we go. So this little subwoofer, it's a powered sub, it's uh, 120 watts, something, don't quote me on that. If we need the specs, everybody will Google them anyway. Um, it's got a curved design, and it's designed to be not very uh, not very fat. So they sort of added a little bit of, of height, perhaps, so that it will sneak neatly into most people's living rooms, or behind people's, beside people's cabinets. Rocking it forward, you see a, a rudimentary uh, acoustically transparent grill. Certainly doesn't appear to be removable. And Yamaha's logo. It's a little bit deeper, perhaps, than its footprint. And at the top, we've got the basic control. Now, it's essentially just the volume control. There's no other uh, setup required, because you're going to use the MusicCast app to determine what this is doing and what it's going to be set up with. Spinning it around, we have a look at the back. Now this, of course, because it's a network subwoofer, has some funny little inputs that you wouldn't expect from a traditional sub. Now removing just for a moment, so we can pull this away, the power cord. It's a New Zealand model, so it's a fixed power cord. To ensure that there's no damage to the back of the unit, the, each of these power cords is wrapped in again some bubble paper. Now we have a traditional uh, two-prong power uh, cord. The back has an emulation of the serial number and model information that we saw on the box. Again, it's a um, NS NW100. Okay, so above that is the heatsink information and some simple enough control. Now this first switch is the, is the main power switch. Now it's a toggle, it's powering it from uh, off to a, a, a on or standby, I guess. There's a connection button. Now pushing and holding that puts it into the, the sort of uh, detection mode for the MusiCast app. So again, if you're using this, the first thing you need to do is download the app, MusiCast, one word, um, and it'll talk you through the setup process. Adding another product is really easy. Set up, add a product, follow the instructions, make sure it's powered up, push and hold this. Um, the next thing is about whether or not you're going to be using uh, wireless or wired network connection. So this switch is 
um, auto for wired and wireless selection or off to reduce the network traffic. Now golden rule, if you can run a network cable to something, do so. Uh, it will remove the chatter and other wireless noise off your network and everything that is wireless will then perform much better. You've got here input, network or analog. Now the analog input is just a simple 3.5mm input at the rear. Um, and realistically, if you're buying this subwoofer, you should be using its network features. Otherwise, there are traditional subwoofers from Yamaha and any number of brands that uh, will be available. Over the far side is its network socket, and again, please use it. This enables this device to pop up on your network and get its signal from the MusiCast source components that are available to it. Theatre amplifiers, speakers, and the like. Okay. So this lovely little subwoofer, it sounds great. I mean, for the money, it's... It's astonishing and so easy to place because it is genuinely wireless. Um, this, this is, it's lovely to see Yamaha have produced something so well, uh, well thought out, uh, uh, reliable and easy to set up within Yamaha's unique MusiCast domain. So there we have it, Yamaha's new Sub 100 MusiCast subwoofer, unboxed here at the Listening Post, Christchurch. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, subscribe to our channel.